is up everyone welcome back to my channel this is Tati I'm a social media manager and today I'm gonna share with you why you should not buy Lightroom presets to edit your images for Instagram let's begin I'm pretty sure this video will be um, disliked by many creators of presets people earn money thanks to selling their presets but I would like to share in this video my personal opinion and I have pretty much experience in um, buying those presets because I bought quite many presets. Just would like to warn you, uh, this video is just based on my personal opinion and I just would like to warn you that you should not uh, waste your money by purchasing Lightroom presets. It's been already a couple years since uh, this hype about Lightroom presets uh, created by big influencers and everyone of course wants uh, to be an influencer, your pictures to look similar as influencers' pictures. But to be honest, um, so when I started to dig into this topic of Lightroom presets and how to use Lightroom and how to create presets, how to edit images on a professional level, I, uh, of course, and back then it was still kind of um, at the be beginning of this hype of Lightroom presets, um, I purchased quite many presets from, from influencers that I really liked, I really liked their editing, their photo styles. But my, my big disappointment is that they never worked on my images. And I would like to do a little experiment. I purchased uh, four presets from a quite big influencer. And I just would like to show you how they are looking on my picture. And I'm going to use um, a picture that is made with my iPhone. I have iPhone 10. I, usually 99% of my images that you can find on Instagram are made with uh, the professional camera, the same camera that I showed this video. And then I edit uh, these images with my personal uh, Lightroom preset. So let me show you this uh, funny experiment and that's how it's actually gonna look. So just an example, I'm gonna use th this image right here so you can see how it's looking. This is a preset number one, this is a preset number two, this is preset number three, and this is preset number four. Preset pack was about $30, $30 and I don't think that actually really look nice on my pictures. And that's actually the danger of purchasing presets because they might look very different on your images. Uh, I don't want to offend uh, the presets creators. I can tell you why is this happening. Most of the influencers, when they um, sell presets, they are quite professional in what they're doing. They have an expensive equipment, they have, they choose the right outfit for the image that it fits their feet and mood, um, they choose uh, right props, right location, and they really invest because it's, for most of the influencers, it's a full-time job. So they take it as a job and they create this preset for them so it looks nice and consistent. But behind just applying the preset, there is tons of, and tons of work. Like lightning, the right and expensive photo equipment, the right location, right outfit, right mood, right... Um, I don't know what else. So there is a lot of work behind just creating a really nice still image and then apply preset. So and if you just shoot a random picture with your phone, like let's say like I do, um, in most of the cases those presets wouldn't work for you. Um, and that is why I don't recommend to buy presets from influencers because in most of the cases they wouldn't look the same on your pictures as they look on the influencers account. Instead you can check the website that I link below. I have nothing to do with them. I don't, I don't get any uh, percentage from your purchases. It's just a tip. You can buy some presets on Etsy quite cheap. Also as other presets on in Lotto Market and if you'd like to get my preset that I use on my Instagram feed that I worked quite a lot and then I created it personal if you shoot a lot if you shoot most of your images in the city and outdoors um, this preset is absolutely for free I leave you the link in the description box so you can get uh, my preset for free uh, and to edit your pictures as just as right as I do. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and the little experiment. And I just would like to repeat once again, I don't want to offend the influencers and, and people who earn money thanks to the presets. Just 
uh, would like to warn my audience who is not using it on a professional level, not doing photography on the professional level as well, uh, to not spend and waste their money buying a very expensive preset that in the end wouldn't be working on their images and uh, will bring them to a big disappointment. If you have any questions or you would like me to cover some uh, topics on social media, list them in the comments because I create content based on your requests.